Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. You Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing an oil change on the 2005 Acura TL V6 motor, of course, and takes 5W20 extended performance five quarts you know advanced full synthetic and we're going to be using the fram extra guard ph 7317 this one give you like 10,000 miles as you can see right here 10,000 miles protection and we have we have it up on the ramp so uh the size i'm not too sure but I'm gonna go with the 17 and see what's up. Now let's get down to business. So uh, as you can see on the hood, we're gonna make this, take this on off. Oh, as you can see the cap says zero W20, but we're gonna be using five W20 motor oil. We don't wanna go too thin, so we go for 520 guys so it's a 14 14 millimeter and I was catching hell I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was catching hell with this I had to use my extension because I didn't have that much leverage so I had to use my extension no leverage with the short one but I got it broken loose and I had to jack it up in of course <laughs> even though it's on the ramp and I had to use jack stands and you know the you know how that goes. Alright. So that's gone. So dirty the oil is. Got it busted open. We're gonna make that leak out and then we're gonna attack the yeah, it's real dirty oh my gosh it was really bad I said the oil was really bad yep wow yeah it was really I don't even know if I could call this black this was brown <laughs> I don't know, you'll see the video when I put it together. Alright, that's that. Now, as for the filter, it is right there. See that blue thing right there? Right here? I need to get my gloves, see if I could twist it off by hand. If you can't twist it off by hand, guys, you're going to need a tool. And you will need like a mini extension to go up and twist it. So... I need to get my uh let me see if I could get a get my gloves and see if I could twist it off by hand or I'm gonna get like a clamp clamp it and twist it <laughs> I'm gonna repeat that when I finish recording all right guys <laughs> I got it though all right guys so it'd be better if you turn the wheel jack it up without the ramp and turn the wheel to the right so I use the filter clamp because the other tool that I have which is the 65 millimeter I didn't have my extension to go up in there and twist it so after I use the uh, the clamp to grab it and twist it remember you have to go left 
so basically I grab it and I go that way so you go left as you can see I'm twisting it left to loosen it guys this is the one position that you know give any, anybody a, a little headache but once you have the right tools it'll be a piece of cake I gotta see if I could find my extension to go up so if I ran into anything like this again I know I wouldn't have to like you know give myself more work so I got it as you can see it's up there it's still draining and the, the plug I didn't put the plug back in uh, here it is I need to put that back in so I could go to the top and I'm gonna install a new filter as well guys all right guys I'm back uh, I'm about to install this make sure the seal from the other one is not off so remember try to line it up properly and just twist it on pretty easy and simple just that this position and not only that it's kind of hard for me to hold the camera camera and record at the same time so just hand tighten it guys there's no point of uh, using no tool just tighten it the frame will sure grip it and that'll be good to go now as for the filter not the filter but the plug Give it a good snug. I'll wipe all here off. I'll wipe all it off. Wipe it off. See a brand new pan. Wipe off the excess oil. And I give the plug basically a snug. So that should that should do. Now let's get to the top, guys. Pretty easy and simple. All right, guys, so have a clean funnel. It takes five quarts, motor oil. Uh, so let's get down to business and let's pour this oil so I could finish this up. Five quarts of oil, piece of cake. Easy, simple. Nah, this one wasn't easy. That that uh, thing was giving me hell. <laughs> The filter location was giving me a little problem. I had to, I had to like work around it. All right, there we go. We use 5W20, motor oil, advanced, full synthetic, as you, as you can see, triple action formula. Advanced, full synthetic always uh, remove this Drop it down there put the cap on we use 5w30 5w20 as you can see the car recommends 0w20 but it's kind of light for all the car remember this is 2005 so we use 5w20 so yeah guys really appreciate the love and the support thank you for watching please like subscribe peace out and bye bye and i will show you guys how to reset i got a merger video how to reset that oil life from zero to 100 percent oil change uh maintenance light
on a 2005 Acura TL. Okay, the light, when you see, see it says oil life, less than 50%, and it's going to say service due soon. All right, what you want to do is uh, hold the uh, reset button right here. Select reset button. Just hold that. Okay, it says maintenance reset. Uh, and then you hit, hit reset again. There you go. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money, get into the money. Get into it. Get into the money.